Alright guys, first I wanted to show you how I how I got this far, how I downloaded these images. So I'm actually just going to remove this and go back to where I have them downloaded here and just delete them. Alright, and then let's go back to Chrome and we need to get the the path to this data and I'm actually just going to download it in the AWS command line for now. So if you go over um, where is it? Like the B2, for example, and copy link address. I'm going to open up Notepad. Paste it in here. Now, this is sort of uh, what we need, but we need S3 notation, and now we need to give it the bucket. So, this is just giving us the key. We need the bucket, too. So bucket is this thing, landsat-pds. So paste that there, put the slash in. Okay, so that's something we want to download, and then same exact thing, but we want it to be band 3. And same thing in band 4. Alright, and then in order to copy in AWS, you say AWS S3 CP for copy, whereas before we were saying LS for list, now we're saying CP for copy. And now we need to, so now we're giving it the input, so this is what we want to copy. It's in S3, and where the next input's where do we want to store it. So I'm actually just going to say dot, which means store it in my current directory. So in the command prompt here, you see them, C users fran, so that correlates to here. So when I say dot, it's just going to save it there and it's going to save it as the same exact name um, that, that the input file was. So just put the dot or wherever you want to save it and whatever you want to name it. And then the last thing we have to add to this is the um, this no sign request because we're doing this anonymously. So just copy that and paste it. I just wanted to show you guys how how we got this far because I feel like I'm going over some of this too quickly. AWS S3 CP. All right, so I'm just going to copy this and paste it there. Should start downloading. Yep. So here we go. It's copying. So I mean, that's the cool thing. We get all this free data from AWS. Pretty cool. So what I'm envisioning is we're going to do this whole process, but in Python with Boto 3. But I just want to show you the whole workflow before we even try to script it, because I think that's important. You have to understand like what we're trying to do before we can actually do it. All right, we'll just do the last one here. And once this finishes, we'll open up Pro again and just run that composite bands tool. And that composite bands tool, we can access with ArcPy too, so this is what we're going to do. So I was showing you in the GUI, but you can see here we can do it as a script as well. So that's where we're headed. Okay, cool. So that's done. I'm going to close that. So we have our three local files now. Now go back to Tools 
and composite. All right, and then input. I'm actually going to make sure, well, you don't have to make sure, but I'm going to select four first, then three, then two. That way I don't have to reorder it. And then just run it. Yeah, like I was saying with um, when I did this with VSIS three, it was it was just it, it kept saying this, and I waited like five minutes, and I I got impatient. So maybe it'll work, and it's just really slow, or maybe there's a bug with this. Cool. All right, so I just wanted to explain that to you guys um, before we move forward.